our last episode, we talked about how damaging malicious emails can be to an organization. We explored the different attack vectors that cyber criminals use, including both email and productivity apps. And we shared interesting incidents from recent months. In this eighth and last episode, we'll be discussing the top five must-haves for protecting email and productivity suites against attacks that are targeted at the weakest link in the security chain, employees. Okay, step number one, knowledge is power. That is, one of the most important actions for an organization to take is to educate employees. Security awareness is the first step towards lowering the risk of a successful attack, and it can be done in different ways. A couple of options include creating an online course on how to identify email scams by identifying the typical language that is used by recognizing cyber criminal domains, names, and more. Sharing stories of recent incidents and breaches is another way to keep employees informed and aware of the threats that are out there. But education is not enough. There are just too many emails and productivity apps out there, and too many emails coming in and out of the organization all the time. Moreover, there are so many attacks and their success rate are constantly increasing. Quite often, it's just too much to handle. Accordingly, organizations absolutely must implement not just knowledge sharing, but also these five must-have capabilities. Must-have number one is phishing protection. Phishing, as discussed in the previous episodes, is one of the most common threats to organizations. It is probably the most versatile and sophisticated form of attack. Another thing about email phishing attack is that they often serve as the first stage of a bigger attack, making them the hacker's front door to your organization. And if the attack is successful, cyber criminals will come waltzing in. Have no doubt about it. Phishing attacks, if successful, will consequently enable lateral movement within the organization. For these reasons and many others, real-time phishing protection is crucial to ensuring that your organization is safe. Proper phishing protection for Office 365 and G Suite should cover your entire productivity suite, which includes cloud-based email as well as commonly used productivity application such as SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams, Google Drive, and others. Protection for email only is obviously limited and is insufficient, with the state of remote work driving employees to rely heavily on productivity apps to perform important tasks and exchange sensitive information, all-around protection must be deployed. The phishing protection solution you select should be fully automated and AI-based. Because you have to deal with the increasing sophistication of these attacks and prevent them before they reach the end user. The tool you select must also be able to examine the different aspects of advanced phishing emails, which include inspecting metadata to validate the sender, inspecting email attachments to ensure that they are not malicious, validating links, checking the email against other domain intelligence, and applying click time prevention so that the links are always validated as non-malicious. Moreover, the tool must also be able to check the language of the email. This is because phishing emails often include subtle indication of fraud, such as text signatures, credential theft patterns, and expressions of urgency or call to action that is suspicious, such as change your password immediately or pay this as soon as possible. Must-have number two is malware protection. Malware is another huge risk to organization. When evaluating a malware protection tool, organization must consider two key parameters. The impact on productivity and the block rate. In order to maintain productivity without compromising security, the solution you select must be able to clean any file of active content instantly, so it can deliver it within seconds to the end users. As for the block rate, this is important because once a malware reaches the end user's machine, it is too late. 
The solution you choose must be able to examine every aspect of the attachment to ensure it is not a delivery vehicle for malware and use more than one means for detecting and preventing evasion techniques that may be employed by the attacker. The final qualifier for a good malware protection solution is access to rich threat intelligence, where the solution should be fed by a rich source of threat intelligence that is updated continuously and not daily or hourly. The third item on our list is account takeover protection. What is called hijacking user's account is a common practice among cyber criminals. That is typically achieved by gaining access to an account's credential through a phishing attack, a breach to a third-party site, or even the dark web. A hijacked account presents a huge risk to organization as the hacker now has complete access to the organization's database, contacts, customers' information, and other sensitive data. With account takeover, hackers also impersonate the account's owner and send emails on their behalf moving internally within your organization. Accordingly, your security solution must be able to prevent account takeover. It is also important to consider that the account takeover prevention solution should work in a layered approach. To explain, most organizations use some sort of an identity provider which authenticates users by verifying some basic credentials. But when these credentials are stolen, an added security layer is necessary to augment the authentication process. The added layer should contribute extra information to the process, including MFA, or what is known as multi-factor authentication, as well as anomaly detection that is customized to the company's needs. This anomaly detection should block access based on parameters such as IP reputation, login location, approved devices, and others. Some organizations that deal with very sensitive data, such as banks, would need an agent to be installed on devices in order to grant access to accounts. DLP protection is our fourth must-have, and DLP, data leak protection, is very important. Because even though data leakage is not an attack per se, it is a huge risk. Employees can unintentionally, or sometimes intentionally, leak sensitive data to outside the organization. This can result in fines for non-compliant with regulation, losing competitive advantage due to intellectual property being breached, and even damages to brand equity. Employees who deal with sensitive data might not be aware of the risk that lie in sharing sensitive data through cloud-based Office 365 or G Suite application. This is where automated data protection comes into play. The solution you choose should enable you to set custom policies that work for your organization and automatically prevent employees from sending out sensitive information via email or any other productivity application they use. For example, a bank would need to set up a DLP policy to block any email with customers' credit card information from being sent outside the organization. And last, the fifth must-have is internal threat protection. This must-have may not be so obvious, but it is extremely important. As we've mentioned, some attacks are designed to enable the cyber criminals to move laterally inside the organization. If your security solution examines only inbound communication, it will miss internal threats that might be infecting other devices within the organization. Think of a phishing email sent to the entire organization from a compromised account. The email seems credible as it has come from a colleague within the organization. If your security solution is not designed to identify this internal movement in real time, your entire organization can be at risk from just one single compromised account. Real time is the key here. You need to make sure that these lateral movements are blocked before they reach any other user in your organization. Because as noted earlier, once it has reached other users, it's too late. To learn more, we invite you to download the solution brief below. Well, that's it for our series on securing the remote workforce. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you found our discussion to be relevant and valuable to your organization in its effort to stay secure during these unusually challenging times. Thank you.